Hey guys, it's me Matthew, of course, of course, and in this video, I'm going to be playing Slay the Spire instead of Dead Cells. I want to know if you guys want to see this more or Dead Cells more. I don't need the tutorial. Um, but anyways... Dead Cells was starting to feel like a lot of the same thing over and over again, and as much as I enjoyed it the first time I played it, it hasn't been as fun the second time around. This game is a card-based, turn-based RPG, RTS, I'm not really sure what, if there's any wide-sweeping genre for this. It's a dungeon crawl of sorts. Um, strategic. I, mean, I can throw out a lot of words. But either way, the idea here is that you have a deck of cards. You start with ten. You always get five, uh, six strikes, f uh, four blocks. I think, I think it changes depending on the character, but you get strikes, blocks, and one to maybe three special cards right off the bat. And from here you just, you fight and build up your deck. Every time you kill some enemies, you'll be able to select a card, and you'll explore the map. These question marks are unknown, they could be a normal enemy, they could be an elite, they could be some treasure, a merchant, uh, they've never been at rest, but uh, they could also be, um, just, you're usually just like a random event of some kind. They're quite interesting, and I love going down paths with a lot of uh, mysteries on them, because it adds a lot of flavor to the game, and it also kind of helps me get farther. Uh, it seems like fighting isn't these the best way to go about progressing the best. Uh, ethereal deal 20 damage. I think I'm going to go with Carnage. Draw one card. Put a card from your hand onto the top of your draw pile. Uh, no, I'm going to go with Ethereal. Okay, the first mystery. Oh, this one. This is a, a very joking one. Um, I'm gonna go with... Oh, I'm gonna obtain a relic. I never picked that one. Upon pickup, gain 300 gold. Amazing. That's very useful. Um, let's see. He's gonna be attacking me right off the bat. So in an effort to heal some of that damage I'm going to go, or to avoid some of that damage I'm going to go with block. And I would apply two vulnerable, but I can do more damage this way. At the end of your turn, lose HP equal to the number of cards in your hand, so yeah. Apply three vulnerable, hmm. And he's going to attack me again. But I had a Carnage, and I think I'm going to go with Block. I have a feeling I'll get enough cards to kill him next turn. Oh, okay, good. I was about to be a little worried that I was going to get nothing but shield-related stuff, but at the same time, that would have been fine. Draw one card. Uh, I think... No. Deal six damage. Deals two additional damage for all your cards containing strike. There's one more mystery if I go this way. Come across an incons uh, inconspicuous... Oh my god. Inconspicuous pedestal with a shining gold idol sitting peacefully atop. 
It looks incredibly valuable. You sure don't need, uh, you sure don't see any traps nearby. Take, obtain golden idol, trigger a trap. As you grab the idol and stow it away, a giant boulder smashes through the ceiling into the ground next to you. You realize that the floor is slanted downwards as the boulder starts to roll towards you. Um, now I could outrun and become cursed. Take 20 damage or hide. I'm going to become cursed because all it is is one unplayable card in this case. Uh, I'm going to have to start with Carnage. And sadly, I can't use Bash before that. But he's already halved it. So this should be pretty easy. Uh, and I will use those blocks. And that. And sadly, this is one case where it will not work out for me too well. So I definitely need to get rid of the, um, the, that one curse. Which one was it? Regret? Yeah. Deal 18 damage. And he's dead. And now I'll heal to 80 because of the, um, the Ironclad's beginning relic. You start with burning blood. At the end of combat, heal 6 HP. It's always the same, unless you decide to switch it out at the risk of getting a worse relic. Which, I mean, the gold idol is not that good, but dropping 25% more gold can be useful. Deal 9 damage, put a card from your discard pile on top of your draw pile. I'm gonna go with headbutt. Yes, kitty, I know you exist, honey. Um, remove a card from your deck, or destroy for more gold. I'm going to remove a card. I'm going to remove regret. You know, it's a few fights. Uh, I'm going to start off with choosing a power card to start off with. Gain three vulnerable at the start of your turn. Hmm... Whenever a card is exhausted, block, gain 3 block. Whenever you gain block, deal 5 damage to a random enemy. I'm going to go with Berserk. Because the Vulnerable won't last forever. But the Berserk will. Um, at least for the rest of this combat. Um, Hmm. If I do that, then do this, and then I guess I only have one option, so it sent the, the bash through. Chad's vulnerable for a couple of turns. So I can add more vulnerable, but instead. Oh, yeah. Now he's forced to split. And splitting just means it's going to turn into two enemies. And I'm going to use both of those. I'm going to attack that one. Because he's probably going to attack after that one attacks. So getting rid of this one will give me an extra turn against this one. Never mind. Sometimes they have a pattern. Most of the time they don't. I just I was hoping for a pattern. Use both of those. So they're going to get 7 damage on me, sadly. And slimed. He's about to do 10 damage. Carnage. I could completely wipe one of them out. I can wipe both of them out, actually. Sweet. Ah, uh, I got it. Add 2 wounds into your hand. Gain 15 block. Gain 5 block. Deal 1 damage. Uh, I'm gonna go with Iron Wave. And three little slugs. Loose, uh, lose, lose, lose. 
house, whatever. Carnage that one, and then defend. Carnage is so useful. Especially in these multi uh, enemy fights. Um, headbutts. I'd like Carnage again, but I might end up killing it. No, I won't be able to. Oh, crap. Uh, whoops. I get ahead of myself a lot in pretty much everything. Uh, so you'll notice that a lot, especially in this game. Carnage. Because... Mm, yeah, yeah, Carnage. There we go. 73. Shrug it off. Ooh. Whirlwind. Yeah. And then treasure chest. Bottle lightning upon. Pick up. Choose a skill. Start each combat with this card in your hand. Well. Okay. Don't have much of a choice there. I'm going to upgrade instead of... Oh, 28 damage. Yes, please. Now, ethereal means if I don't use it, it'll go away for the rest of that combat round. Oh, oh no. Um, oh yeah, lose fear potion. I don't care about that. Uh, add X random colorless cards into your hand. They cause zero this turn. That is interesting. Sail. Cleave. I like that. Upon pickup, choose an attack. Start each combat with that turn. Mm, every three turns gain. Oh, 50% discount. I'll take that. Um, I'm going to start with Carnage at the very beginning of each time. Um, ooh, gain 5 max HP. That's really tempting. I have the money. Uh, double tap is always nice. Innate. Deal 6 damage to all enemies. Exhaust. Sure. That was quite a uh, fruitful adventure there. I'm glad I didn't go down that route. Uh, let's see. I started with Carnage. Beautiful. Uh, I'll drink that for the extra max HP. And... Damn. That's just... I only take two damage. That's fine. And then bash. And then... Cleave. Because I can. That was over quick. Deal damage equal to your block. Deal six damage, deals two. Perfected strike again, or whoops. Oh, I can view the upgrades. That's cool. Did not mean to do that. Whoops. And this is not gonna look good. Um, I don't really have much of a choice here, because he, he's going to do more damage than that anyways, and there is a campfire right after this that I can rest at, so, fuck it, beautiful, and look at that, I got my fear potion back. At the end of your turn, lose 1 HP and deal 5 damage to all enemies. No. Gain a block, draw 1 card. Doesn't really matter which campfire I go to. I could rest, or I can upgrade a card. Let's look at my cards real quick. Mm. That would only be up to 24 damage to each enemy. Hmm. Your next two attacks are played twice. That's nice. That's really nice, but... Oh, if 
I could get that plus carnage in the same turn. Oh my god. First boss fight. This is the end of this level. Sadly, I don't have any way to draw cards right now. Apply three vulnerable, 42 damage. And I'm going to, oh, that, I think that automatically put, yep, that automatically put Carnage right back into my draw pile. I'm gonna pause real quick. And I immediately got Carnage again. Beautiful. 42 damage again. Holy crap, that card is amazing. And now I got a double tap. Not bad. Uh, eight times two. Well, he's at 122 health, so hopefully I can. If I can do 40 damage. The vulnerability uh, went down. That's gonna be 20 health. Just interrupted, but thankfully this game allows me to uh, stop it whenever I need to. Uh, I'm going to go with Perfected Strike. Because it seems pointless to do that uh, when I can do much more damage. I don't gain anything extra from using those other cards. And thankfully, the red squirrel, red squirrel, red skull gives me three strength, uh, less than 50% health. I'm gonna make him vulnerable. And, oh, whoops. Okay, he has three hide. Um, Let's see, what do I have here to choose from? I don't want to use anything like Whirlwind. I'm going to use Iron Wave first. And then Bash. And my turn, he's going to do 9 damage. Uninhibited, sadly. And then I got Carnage. GG. Beautiful liquid bronze. Doom for a demon form. Doom form sounds better. Uh, now feed allows me to raise my max HP. Demon form gives me strength. Every uh, every turn it gives me three, two strength, and it costs three. So that's kind of um, it's give and take. It's something that if I could use early would be great, but it's kind of uh, difficult. I'm gonna go with feed because I think it's the most reliable. You can no longer obtain potions. For every five cards in your hand, heal three HP whenever you enter a rest site. Yeah, eternal feather. Any extra healing helps. Okay, there's one mystery, two mysteries, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, oh wait, no, just four, one, two, three, <coughs> four, <coughs> five, oh wait, I can go there from one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, or five, six. So, yeah, this one, it gives me the most mysteries. Now he'll do 20 damage right off the bat. So, um... Thorns and hit him with carnage. So he'll end up doing 5 damage. Did I say 20? I meant 10. Uh, double tap. Beautiful. So 
suffer. You just hex me, which means whenever you play a non-attack card, shuffle one dazed into your draw pile. Let's see, 15 damage, and then I just gained 3 max HP. Now I'm at full health, and Trench allows me to double my block. I'm gonna go with that. First mystery already, and it's a fight. Now this is the downside, unless I get a specific um, thing that lets me, uh, a specific relic, yeah, not thing, just a relic, <laughs> will make it so that I never have moments like this, where it's just a, a fight, and 25. See, I don't have anything that gives me put a, uh, put a card from your discard pile. I'd want that. I'd want that a lot. Deals 18 damage. Deals 2 additional damage. For, I guess... Um, mm, no, I'm going to use Bash and then Headbutt to get Carnage back. He's about to do 10 uninhibited damage again. Not again, but nothing, uh, didn't do anything against that. Hopefully he takes more damage from this. 28 damage. Exactly. Beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna go with Flex because of how useful the extra strength is for no cost at all. Uh, dramatic entrance. Shrug it off. Just to see if I could. Yep, I got a card. I hate Sneko. Because he always makes it so that I'm confused. And confusion means whenever you draw a card, it randomizes its cost. So all of these cost so much more now uh, than they should. I don't really have much of a choice here. Um, I'm just going to make sure that he only does 10 damage instead of 15. Okay, um, I'm going to bash, and then I would body slam, but I don't have any armor, so it's kind of pointless to use. Hmm, strike, defend, uh, defend again, because he's about to do 22 damage, so that's going to be 12, oh man, he's dealing a lot of damage, non-stop interruptions, uh, I never really looked through the settings in this game, but I just saw a display summed up damage in gold, and display block damage in blue. So let's see, where does that appear? Did I have to apply it? No? Hmm, maybe when I attack. But let's see, let's my let's see my cards here. I have flex. And since perfected strike and strike. Um are only one and zero right now. I'm gonna go with strike and then perfected strike. Sadly, he's gonna do 22 damage. But I got this uh, feather for a reason. Double tap. Um, crap, I shouldn't have done that. I hate confusion. I need something to fight against that. Uh, that would do 24 damage, I believe. So I'm gonna go with trying to... Oh, wait a minute. One health left. Man. I'm not gonna get feet this time around. But I got carnage. Talk about overkill. 
feel no pain, seeing red, war cry. I'm gonna go with seeing red again. I don't know if I've gotten that before or not in this, but uh, as you continue your ascent, thick black smoke begins to billow out of the ground and walls around you, coalescing into three masked forms that start to speak. Another puppet of Niao, I think, agreed. She always makes the funnest toys. You notice an oversized grin as the third ad addresses you. Ignore the others. Would you like a taste of our power? I would receive five uh, apparitions, um, which are five of these one-cost cards. I would lose 50% of my magic uh, HP, so I'd be down to 44. But I would be able to reduce the enemy's damage to 1, which is what Intangible does, if I recall correctly. I have the ability to raise my maximum health, but it's not entirely reliable. And neither is uh, the aberration. So I don't know what to do here. I mean, refusing doesn't do anything. I'm gonna look at my map real quick and my cards. So I have to fight right after this twice. Or I could fight an elite right after that. Oh man, this is a, this is a tough choice. I don't have any rests after this. Until after these next two fights, whatever I do. Oh man, I'm gonna go for it. And I'm gonna fight the elite for the relic. See if I win. 10 damage, 6 damage. Immediately take him out. And gain. Oh man. Oh, he's still gonna do 10 damage to me. I'm gonna be at 25 health. Shit. Uh, double tap. No, I don't have any way of healing right now. This wouldn't do much. At the end of his turn, he always gains 14. I think Perfected Strike is my best bet here. Six times two. He'll kill me if I don't. Apparition. Beautiful. Uh, well, that strength was pointless. Jeez. I'll do ten damage this time around. I have the apparitions. So I will continue to use those. Six times two again. Aberration. Seeing red. Um, well, I don't really have much of a choice here. I can't really double nothing I only have five health left son of a bitch apparition I need it uh, I think it's worth losing carnage this time around it's also ethereal what does that do 
nothing. I would have lost it anyways. Okay, shrug it off. He's only doing one damage again. I guess they stack. Very interesting. Double light armor, but it's kind of pointless in this case. Thankfully, every time I attack him, bladed armor gets reduced. 18 damage. I'm pretty fucked here. Yeah, I'm gonna lose. Yep, he's gonna kill me, and I can't do anything about it. Well... I don't think anything would have changed if I, um... If I didn't go for the last mystery thing, because I didn't have more than 44 health. I actually had like 30 something health, so I think I played that pretty poorly. I could have saved those ethereals and probably played more wisely just in general. Um, one thing that I always don't do when I play this game is go for defensive cards, because I just, I don't like being on the defense a lot in a lot of games I like to attack. I think a lot of people do, which is why there's a problem with not enough tanks and supports. But, whatever. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this more than Dead Cells. I think I'm going to fully replace Dead Cells if you guys enjoy this video. Unless people request for me to continue Dead Cells. Um, which is perfectly fine with me. I won't do both, probably. But, still, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.